Macy Mangini, M A C I E M A N G I N I. Bella Button, B E L L A B U T T O N. So we were driving and making a left, and, the and the we noticed that out. the lights had gone out, and they were like, oh my god, the lights came out, and this, the political signs come fl flying everywhere. We're like, we're gonna get hit by a sign. And we drive, and we hear like a, and then this big giant pole fell on the car, smushed us in, and then the wires are tapping the car and everything, but we Sports couldn't see anyone everywhere. around us. So the sparks started flying, so we decided to get out, and this lady on the side of the road who was going the opposite way Jessica. led us in her car, Jessica, and so we we left the car because we didn't I we didn't know what to do. I guess we should have stayed in, but it was crazy. But shout out Volkswagen Jetta windshield didn't <laughs> yeah, literally. break through. But it's we're pretty... all, we're good, I think. It's just covered in glass and we got hit a little bit, but we're good. Did you ever think you'd seen anything like this? No, uh, never. I, we were literally just talking about how, oh my god, we haven't seen anything like this, but next year we'll think this wasn't even bad, but we'll remember this literally forever. For the rest of our life. Yeah. And what do you recommend to people if they're ever trapped with a power line on top of them? What would you stay say? Stay in your car because we were told that if you get out, you could actually get electrocuted from the water. So stay in your your car that's the safest place to be if you can't drive pull over just be safe and make smart go, decisions definitely don't, go in a don't think irrationally don't do and quickly <laughs> yeah can you, can you talk a little bit about the driving conditions how, how rainy was it could you see very well well we started down on tatum and shea and it was completely blue skies and clear and we could see the clouds coming we, would, we thought we would have had enough time to get home but then as it started raining harder we started slowing down we could barely see the car probably 10 or 5 feet in front of us and so we turned on our lights it was blowing us left and right and we couldn't see the lights. It, and we would just kind of like horrible. get home, get home, get home. And then we knew it was bad when we were right here and then the lights went out. And so we, we didn't know what to do because we were turning left and you know cars were kind of going everywhere. We didn't know whether to turn or what to do. Everyone was kind of in a panic. People were going straight, people were driving. You couldn't, you literally probably, I couldn't see if I put my hand in front of me. And describe the sound of the power lines coming down again. It was like, it sounded like when a monster truck goes like over a car, like, like boom. It, I couldn't tell. It was like the lightning and the crunch. It was like was, an octopus with all the lines. It was just, everything. It was, it was horrible. I'll literally never forget it.
it in your name? Maya? Yeah, yeah. So Maya M A Y. M A J, actually A. M A J A. And yeah. the last name, can you spell that as well? Zbierkowska. <laughs> Just letter by letter. Oh, Z B uh, I R K O W S K A. You have a long name. Yes, I have a long name. You remember? So just speak up really loud and tell us what happened. Oh, it was raining a bit stormy and wires start to fall on the cars, but it was like, it's okay. Like I see it in the in the front of me that the uh, wires start to pull on the cars. And as it happened, I I moved enough to not get the pull on my car. So yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. We're glad you guys are safe.